Just the other day, I was doing a little Netflix and chill with Bear, and what do I find? Cells at work. I promised that I would do a review of this probably like a year and a half ago, and I sort of forgot about this, but now that it's on Netflix, I have no excuse. So I popped it on, season one, episode one is right here. It's called Pneumococcus. I'm ready, let's get started. Be whoop! That's so funny. All right, so I'm already starting to piece it together from the intro here that each one of these characters represents the cells. And each one of these characters is like an employee or has some sort of job. And if they're wearing red, they're red blood cells, which it just gave a great explanation that they carry oxygen and carbon dioxide throughout the body. The fact that they're doing it in packages is even funnier because that has a medical meaning. So the vascular endothelial cells are the cells that line your blood vessels. If they get injured, guess what happens? Bleeding. Oh! Oh, oh they curse here too. Wow. Oh no. Are these bacteria or viruses? Uh -huh. Whoa! That was bloodier than I expected. The irony of this though is that there's a red blood cell person there and they're killing the germ and the germ is bleeding. Red blood cells. <laughs> Okay, so this is interesting because this gentleman here is a white blood cell, part of the neutrophil division, means that he's attacking a bacteria because neutrophils primarily work against bacteria. I don't know what U1146 is, maybe that's his code name. <laughs> White blood cells and red blood cells exist within your circulation at all times. You need both to function. The red blood cells, obviously the most important for the oxygen. The white blood cells are part of your immune system. In fact, when I do something known as a CBC, which is a blood test, that's a complete blood count. The two main numbers that we read on there are the hemoglobin and the white blood cell count. If I'm looking to see if you have an infection, that white blood cell count number can be low or high. That's important to know. I'm not gonna lie, these uh, bacteria look pretty badass. I don't know why she's so lost. Once the heart pumps, you should be able to just go in the one direction that it pumps. This is really funny because CO2 is carbon dioxide and when you deliver it back to the lungs, your body exhales it, it which is a form of waste. <gasps> Bacteria! <laughs> okay. Oh my God. That's true. This is very accurate that strep pneumo is one of the most common bacteria for respiratory infections and sometimes ear infections. Actually, in children, we give the pneumococcal vaccine in order to decrease the rates of infection. And if they are to get infected, hopefully it's a less severe infection. We also give the same vaccines to those who are over the age of 65, in some cases, 
also for that same purpose, decreases rates of pneumonia. He's talking about meningitis. That's an infection of the meninges, which surround the brain. That's the padding that surrounds the brain. Obviously very dangerous, not only because of infection in the brain is not a good idea, but also because that swelling causes increased pressure, also quite dangerous. I wonder why this body is immunocompromised. Immunocompromised meaning that their immune system is not functioning well. This usually happens as a result of a medication that they're taking, other illnesses that they have. For example, those who have HIV or AIDS, those are immunodeficient states, meaning that they're immunocompromised to infections. Very commonly, if someone's getting uh, an organ transplant, they take medications to make them immunocompromised. There's all sorts of situations for that. But I wonder which one they're using here. It's funny, they're using almost like the lack of policing resources as a representation for immunocompromised. I love that. Oh, platelets are so cute in this. Which is kind of funny because platelets are supposed to be big. Platelets are the, the white blood cells that actually clump and start the clotting process. They actually clump together and start the clotting process. So if you ever get a cut, it's your platelets that are responsible for stopping the bleed. Ooh, the killer T cells are here. The immune mediated responses are coming through the lymphatic vessel. I love that it says kill on their hats. <laughs> this is so much pathophysiology right now. This is like above my pay grade right now. The fact that pneumococcal bacteria are hemolytic in nature that they're gonna go after the red blood cells is something I haven't studied in ages. This is amazing. So capillaries are so thin that they only allow a single stream of red blood cells through in order to have diffusion uh, between them and the alveoli. I have a feeling she's gonna run into him. Oh no! Oh no, the red blood cell helped him get there! Oh, the capsule blocked him. He's an encapsulated bacteria. I'm going to make a little prediction right now that all three of these are going to get coughed out <laughs> in the mucus. He's about to get coughed out. Sneezed! He's about to get sneezed out. Platelets are just looking on. Bye bye, Kinda. <laughs>
You know what's funny? Germs actually have hang time. So when you sneeze and they're outside of your body, they actually can hang around in the air. So you can walk into a room that someone sneezed in, they're not in there anymore, and you could still get sick. Are we getting a Grey's Anatomy moment inside cells at work? Come on now. いや、<笑><笑> Oh. Now I understand why you guys have been pushing me to watch this. It's well done. It's entertaining. It's funny for nerds like myself who love learning about the human body and refreshing some of their knowledge from medical school and even college days. This is brilliant. It's creative. You got to give them that. If you want me to watch another episode of these, maybe you can recommend like the best episode and I could watch that one. As you know, I love watching all sorts of TV shows and dramas and all that stuff. In fact, I put a special playlist together for you right here. What, not right here? Right here. Click on that bad boy. We're going to watch it together while staying happy and healthy. Where's Bear? <laughs> <laughs>